forgiveness of sin. Thank you for strengthening the body. Thank you for a mind to think with. Thank you, God, that I'm standing next to my name. Yeah. Yeah. That I'm not holding a cold hand. I still appreciate 
Here's where the good sense comes in. I'm going to get out of my mind. He says, he says, he says, I want you to have knowledge, this is what the text says, of God's will. God wisdom and God's understanding. Good sense, good sense. I want you to know God's will. I want you to know
have good information. Yeah. 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 In the test I gave them all in my class, I gave them some true and false questions. You gotta call it on the true and false question. What will be a lot of true and false questions? You hear this, you search it all the school. Let me give you a trick and give you true and false questions right every night. It's true. If 90% of the questions are true, Lack understanding about you and you lack understanding. 
I don't, I don't, I don't know what I'm about to do. I don't know this is a little off color, but I got to do it. Do you have to understand clarity and understand? But a guy was in an automobile accident, damaged his left hand, nerve damage in his hand to the point that his hand became a claw. He couldn't, he couldn't, he couldn't unclaw his hand. He was at a, he was at a faithful Bible, and, and the pastor, the minister said, God is going to heal somebody. And he said, today is my day for God to answer my prayer. God is going to answer my prayer. My left hand is at a claw from this accident. And he says, he says, somebody, God is going to answer their prayer. God's going to answer your prayer. And the man said, I believe God is going to answer my prayer. So he said, you know what? In the name of Jesus, I believe. Make my right hand, make my other hand like this hand. Bang! <laughs> he can't say God didn't answer his prayer. Because he didn't have clear understanding of what was going on all you have to have clear understanding of God's will and His word before you start stepping out there in the stuff that's outside of God's will and God's wisdom for your life. Paul says, first of all, know that God is up to something. Yeah. Number two, number two, I'm running out of time. I, I gotta push, I gotta push you in. Know that God is your strength. Yeah. He says in verse 11, strengthen, listen, with all might, according to his glorious power, for all patience and long suffering with joy. Wait a minute. He says, know that God is your strength according to his glorious power. Watch this. And then when I understand he's my strength, and long-suffering with joy. Now, let me give you the definition of long-suffering. <laughs> let me give you William Kilpatrick's dictionary definition of long-suffering. Long-suffering means to suffer long. <laughs> But be happy anyway. 
Senhor wants you to be steady. Say what you feel, he wants to keep when he gets you, when he gets you the hole, and when he gets you feeling bad, he wants you to stay right there. Amen. That's why that's why I think you say you want to buy yourself. I was a little despondent when I got here too. But I ain't standing in that spot no more. But I'm coming to that again. Listen, if, if you if, if you listen to everything people say, everything people do, everything in that situation. Listen, listen, listen. You will be stuck. Go up, up worried, prepare for life. This is God. That ain't none of that God. I come to this up. My hair ain't falling out.